Open source sounds like a utopian dream, right? Free software, built by the people, for the people. You want a library for routing? Bam. Here's React Router. Need authentication? Passport.js. Want to run a web server? Express has your back. And best of all, it's all free. No license fees, no invoices, no sketchy upcharges. You just NPM install your way to greatness. But here's the catch. Open source is free like a puppy. Sure, it doesn't cost you anything to adopt, but feeding it, taking it to the vet, cleaning up after it, that's where the cost creeps in. And this is where the until it isn't part of the title kicks in. Because when you rely on open source at scale, or worse, in production, you start to see the hidden costs. Let's talk about time. Imagine you install a free logging library and everything works fine, until suddenly, in production, it starts swallowing errors like a black hole. Now you're knee deep in someone else's code base trying to figure out why log.error is silently doing nothing. There's no customer support line to call. The GitHub issues page is a graveyard. The only help you'll get is a Stack Overflow answer from 2019 that says, same problem here. So now you're burning developer hours, i.e. actual money, debugging something you didn't even build. Free? Not really. Then there's the good old bait and switch. Open source maintainers are human beings with rent to pay, and sometimes that idealism gets replaced with a pricing page. What starts off as free forever becomes actually, it's $9.99 per month if you want the good features. Remember when Redis launched Redis Labs? Or MongoDB moved to a more restrictive license? That wasn't random, it was strategic. Companies realize that giving away the cake for free only works until you need a second slice. This is especially common with open core models where the basics are free, but anything enterprise level is locked behind a paywall. And let's not forget security. Open source doesn't come with a warranty. If you accidentally pip install a package that's secretly stealing environment variables, congrats, you just open sourced your AWS credentials to a teenager in Belarus. There are literally GitHub repos like dependency check, volncost, retire.js, OSV scanner, and npm audit resolver designed to scan, analyze, or exploit weak links in popular packages. Links are in the description if you want to check them out yourself. One rogue dependency can compromise your entire app, and cleaning that up, that's going to cost you. Now in fairness, a lot of this isn't some shady trick. It's just the reality of how software is sustained. Open source is often a side project maintained by someone named Jake who lives in Oslo and hasn't checked GitHub notifications in six months. People burn out. They disappear. Sometimes they even get poached by big tech and never touch their open source projects again. You're depending on volunteers to maintain core infrastructure that powers billion dollar businesses. And when that volunteer walks away, you're the one holding the bag. But here's the twist. Even companies that thrive off open source like Meta, Google, and Amazon aren't exactly doing it out of charity. They open source tools like React or Kubernetes not to help you, but control standards, influence ecosystems, and sometimes offload their own internal maintenance costs to the community. You're not just a user, you're free labor. So yeah, open source feels free. But once you're deep enough into a project, migrating away becomes painful. And that's when the invoices start rolling in, whether in the form of support plans, pro tier licenses, or the sheer developer time it takes to maintain and secure the stack yourself. Free isn't always cheap, and cheap isn't always free. That doesn't mean open source is bad, far from it. It's the backbone of the modern internet. But the next time you install a totally free package, remember, you might not be paying with money. You might be paying with time, effort, or the occasional 3 a.m. emergency hotfix, because in the world of open source, the price tag just isn't always printed in dollars. And if you're the one stuck holding the bag when it all breaks, you'll want tools that actually have your back like Quiet AI, today's sponsor. Quiet AI is built specifically for developers who are tired of bloated security tools that slow you down, flood you with false positives, and expect you to be a full-time security analyst. Instead of relying on outdated pattern matching or surface-level static analysis, Brother, uh. Quiet uses multi-agent AI and something called a code property graph. It's like a super intelligent map of your code that actually understands how data flows, where it touches, and where things can go horribly wrong. That means it doesn't just scream about every little issue, it finds real vulnerabilities that actually matter. And it's fast. On top of that, Quiet provides context-aware autofixes that are smart enough to suggest real solutions without blowing up your code base. And your code stays safe, it never leaves your environment. So if you want security tools that feel like a dev superpower instead of a punishment, go check out Quiet AI. The link is in the description. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.